Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 18, and this is war number 5, and we're going up against an alliance called Lone Stars Schwartz. Alright, so in this video, I'm actually going to be doing something a little different, and going forward, uh, I'm going to have bonus fights. These are going to be fights that are submitted by my alliance mates, uh, so you'll get to see a variety of paths perhaps depending on whether they submit it to me or not all right so uh path one you see they did not put anyone there so the first person i'm going to fight is invisible woman and of course i'm going to use gladiator hulk now i know these wars can be kind of boring because i take the same paths every time i don't always fight uh a lot you know, I don't always take a mini boss or anything like that. And especially right now, uh, we're in a lower tier at the moment. And so the fights are not that difficult. The nodes are not that difficult. But going forward, I think that would kind of spruce up my alliance wars. Let me know what you think. Um, but at the end, we do have a fight, not by me, but by one of... Uh, my alliance mates here and uh so you'll get a chance to see a different fight you know someone else fighting all right so uh we got that invisible woman down without too much difficulty and of course when i came back they had already cleared out that many and we were ready for section two all right so i went ahead and i'm looking and i'm like okay i'm not gonna go up and take out that many i could have but I didn't want to push it. I wasn't sure that I had someone that would be a really good counter. But we're on path two, section two, and they didn't place a defender on that first node there either. So see, this is what I mean. So I have uh, only two fights right now. All right. Now, I chose Gladiator Hulk uh, because we're fighting Dormammu. When Gladiator Hulk, uh, Hulk first came out, he was a great counter for Dormammu, but you have to fight him a certain way. So normally I tried to practice evading so that I did not get that degen on me. But when you're fighting Gladiator Hulk, you want to dex. You want to dex as much as possible because then when you start hitting him after you've dexed, you'll get that degen, it'll activate his face me, and you can go to town. So he's actually a really good counter for Dormammu. So that's why I took him into that situation. Uh, Gladiator Hulk is great anytime you can get that face me active. If you can't, he's just so-so. All right, so we're again at the uh, mini boss here. Uh, it wasn't cleared. And when I came back, it's already cleared. All right, so now I've only fought you know, a couple of fights here. So I go in here and I'm like, okay, you know what? That Korg right there, I got something for that Korg. My Omega Red is pretty much full health. And he is a great counter for Korg. You know, um, I don't want to be a hog and go fighting too many uh, fights, but, you know, this fight, nobody seemed to take him. Uh, too slow. I think there are other people that had counters for Korg as well. But I said, you know what? I'm going to go in. Now, you see, this is a good placement for Korg. You see that kinetic reactor. So when he's hitting into your block like that, he's gaining power. Now, the way that I fight uh, Korg is I usually bait out his specials and his heavies. So, you know, I'm so happy Dorky Diggity Dave showed me how to evade that special one uh but you can see here i'm slow playing it now i gotta bait out a special two easy and we go back in uh omega red is great to fight Korg because he doesn't take any of that damage back all right so you see here i'm getting a lot of blocked hits and so what i've done is i'll wait until i see him you know about to get to a special one or two and then i'll back off and bait so like right here, I pushed him to a special two and now I'm gonna bait it out. You know, I wasn't gonna let him hit into my block. And that's pretty much how we handled this fight. Now, another way to fight Omega Red would be 
to do the light attack intercept. You can do that with anyone. I am bad at it, okay? When I try to do it, I end up going a little too slow, triggering Dex, and he goes unstoppable, and then I try to intercept, and I get wrecked. I'm not good at it, which is why I've adopted this style, which works just fine for Omega Red. Um, I use it also when I use Havoc, who was in Alliance Quest at the time. Uh, I am the Korg killer in my battle group, and I use Havoc all the time. All right, so down goes Korg. Korg at one time used to be one of the top defenders, but now we've got plenty of options to tackle him on. All right, so you see here, we've got a few of the minis up, and this, le this next fight is going to be um, Jigner. Okay, so here we go. There. Now, this is his fight. He's going to go up against that mojo on that power game. I absolutely hate that node. Okay, now, he's going against him with Blade. Blade, you'll notice he also has Ghost Rider on the team. That Ghost Rider synergy means that Blade will get Danger Sense against villains. And Mojo, I believe, is tagged as a villain. Um, but in any case, he does have his Danger Sense active. So either he's tagged as a villain or he is a dimensional being. Either one of those, he would get this. So you can see what he's doing here. He is parrying him where he's going to put a bleed on him and you can see he's not gaining any power doing that okay then he fires off a heavy he's creating a little distance you know you don't want to get trapped in a corner all right and you can see here he's just trying to slow play it very very good okay he baited out that special one there he goes fire off the special two and he's doing very good okay so mojo is less than half of his health right now all right and so here we go and now he's in trouble because he's against the wall. So he fires his special one, I mean, a special two off, but he pushed Mojo to a special three. He almost had him, you know, but it is what it is. It happens. All right. So he ate this special three, but he survived and he threw up a Hail Mary and he got him down. That was awesome clutch okay so that's gonna do it for this portion of the alliance war and we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war and we're back and as you can see we won this war uh now again at this particular tier the wars are pretty easy. We're on a winning streak here, uh, but we're trying to just rebuild our resources. So we want to not use as many items, you know, be very, very careful with the item use because we're trying to build up our item stash uh, for next season. All right. And let me know if you guys want to see more of that, because I think that's a really good a uh, way to kind of breathe some extra life into these Alliance War videos. I can, you know, show you guys different fights on different paths and, you know, do little commentaries, maybe analyze it. Uh, let me know if you think that's a, a good idea. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely planning on doing that. All right. So that's going to do it, guys, for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, feel free to click that like button if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. Let me know what you think about that idea of adding different war footage for, you know, my battle group. Not going to do it for any other battle group, but it'll be for my battle group so that you guys can see other fights. I may expand it to different battle groups as well. Uh, we'll see. But for right now, um, I would like to do it with just our battle group so you can see this particular war, this particular battle group. Um, and some of the fighting that went on there. But if you think it's a good idea, I can expand it and we might go to different battle groups and just ask everybody, show me your videos and I'll include them, you know, as many as I can. All right. So take care and you all have a blessed day.